Orange Inc. issued 23,500 non-qualified stock options valued at 47,000 in total. The options vest over two years, half in 2019, the year of issue, and half in 2020. 1,000 options are exercised in 2020 with a bargain element on each option of $5. What is the 2020 book tax difference associated with the stock options? And our choices are 18,500 unfavorable, 18,500 favorable, or 23,500 unfavorable or favorable. And then we have the option that none of these choices are correct. The correct answer is 18,500 unfavorable. The book tax difference in 2020 is the difference between 23,500 expense for book purposes. We calculated that by taking 50% times 47,000 and 5,000 deducted for tax purposes, calculated as 1,000 options exercised times the $5 bargain element. It's unfavorable because the book expense exceeds the tax deduction. Amstor Inc. sold some of its heavy machinery to gain. Amstor used the straight line method for financial accounting depreciation and expensing for tax cost recovery. If accumulated depreciation for financial accounting purposes is less than accumulated depreciation for tax reporting purposes, what is the nature of the book tax difference associated with the gain on the sale? And our choices are permanent and favorable, or permanent and unfavorable, or temporary and favorable, or temporary and unfavorable. Okay, in this case, it's temporary and unfavorable. The gain recognized by Amstor is higher for tax purposes than it is for book purposes because the tax accumulated depreciation is higher than the book accumulated depreciation and the book accumulated depreciation is the basis is higher for book that, that means that the basis is higher for book purposes than for tax purposes this adjustment is the reversal of the favorable book tax difference for depreciation on the asset Which of the following statements regarding the dividends and or the dividends received deduction, abbreviated as DRD, is true? One choice is that dividends are taxed at preferential rates for corporations as well as for individuals. The second choice says that the DRD can increase the net operating loss of a corporation. The third choice says corporations are allowed to deduct from a dividend received the product of the dividend and the percentage of the receiving corporation's ownership in the distributing corporation stock. And our last option says the, the DRD allows corporations to deduct the amount of dividends that they distribute. The correct choice is the DRD can increase the net operating loss of a corporation. The DRD limitation does not apply if the DRD creates or increases a corporation's net operating loss.